Oh, hello. I am Russ, and you are you, and you are watching another Russ Toys review. And this is the Super 7 Thundercats Deluxe Mumra, the Ever Living version 2. Like the packaging over here. It also has the slip cover, which I've already taken off, but yeah, put it back on. You can see, love that metallic red. Looks very cool. It says Thundercats right there on the back and Ultimates at the top. Right there with an exclamation mark and a Super 7 plop. And all right, and you can see on the back, you get a really nice image of Mumra over there. It says Mumra is the Thundercats evil adversary, mummified and otherwise weak. He is an energized and made immortal as a servant to the spirits of evil who grant him magical and transformative powers to carry out their wicked bidding. Nice read up. Nice artwork, like it. I do have a scuff on the dog chin right there. That's from this thing not being all the way inside the bubble shape. You can see it's not really fully inside there. So this rubbed against the plastic and scuffed my dog. So a little bummed out about that. But anyway, one raw looks sick. Let's open this thing. And here's out of the packaging. And I can't remember him actually saying it like that, but I remember the yell. I kept on repeating around the house. My wife was like, does he actually say it? I was like, I thought he does. Or I thought he did. I thought he does. But uh, yeah, I, I looked back and found clips and it's just him going. I, okay, the voice of Mumra thing's got to stop. Okay, accessories. Uh, you can see right here that you get this double blade accessory, which is really cool. I can't remember the names of everything, but I like how you have the snake theme right here in the center. Would have been nice to see more of a metallic color than the gray, but it does have a little bit of a little bit of a shimmer to it. It reflects a little. And then you have this scepter right here, which looks pretty neat. Solid looking paint apps. You get a pair of fisted hands, which I'm glad it does come with these hands, but I'm not really going to use them, I think, but I'm happy to have them. Nice paint detail on there too. And then you have a set of weapon holding hands and a set of wide open hands. And the figure uh, you can see right here has the wide open hand over there and weapon grabbing hand over there. Dog, yeah, so I was bummed out about the paint right over here. You can see clearly missing with all those packages, still got the scuff, but the paint apps look really good on this. I really do like that black shading over the blue. So yeah, I do like it. Uh, it does have articulation, so you can move the legs forward and back and then the head can rotate and uh, you can't really, uh, the tail does twist a little bit too. I don't think you're supposed to, but yeah, you can move the legs forward and back and you could rotate the head and it actually does look pretty good. I gotta say, I do like it. It's just uh, that scuff right there. Damn it. Uh! The cape you have to put on there yourself. Uh, you get two head sculpts. I'm not going to swap them because I love this head sculpt so damn much. I mean, I love this one too. They both look fantastic, but holy crap. This one looks so much better. Mine has a weird chin stain thing going on here. And uh, I didn't notice that until just now. But yeah, I have a little bit of extra paint right there on the chin of this head sculpt. So that's frustrating. That shouldn't be there. So yeah, the QC on that irritates me. But uh, aside from that, though, I like how this figure looks like with the desired head sculpt on there. I really like it a lot. I love the motion of the bands right here. Uh, it's like that with both of them. But yeah, the wide open mouth, the teeth, uh, the eyes, the gold that they used throughout on the figure looks really good. I'm so pleased with how this figure looks, man. I'm very, very happy with it. And the cape is awesome. You don't just have bendy wire going throughout the sides, but the bendy wire goes all the way through the front and you have three different bendy wires going throughout the middle right here. And I love how this is all tattered and everything the way it should look. You have some actual real threads coming out here, but I mean, it goes along with the aesthetic of this cape. It just looks so freaking sick. I'm so happy with it. Uh, you just port it around the neck when you switch the head and you port it around each hand right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a get an open hand ported through here just to demonstrate all the hands have a vertical hinge by the way there's no horizontal hinge hands on any of these but yeah you can see how that works right there so now you have both hands open all yoked and everything um you'll see some slight 
dark blue over the lighter blue plastic, which I think is great. I really like it. I think the muscle tone and everything uh, fits the model from what we've seen from the show. You can see some darker blue over the light blue plastic on the legs right there. The legs look really good. I like those shins. Nice kind of cast iron finish to make them look more metallic. You got the furry uh, texturing right there above those mumra toes. And then there's the pickles at the bottom of the feet. There's looking at the back of the figure so you can see your mumra butt. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically my review. Oh, well, the articulation segment, dude. It's on a dumbbell joint that will shift up and down, turn side to side, and a little bit of head pivoting. You can see how the cape goes right on there. And uh, no butterfly joints, but the shoulders will move outward that far, down that much, rotate forward and back, bicep swivel, single jointed elbows that don't bend in 90 degrees, rotation at the elbows, all the hands turn side to side, hinge up and down, ab crunch forward only that much, back that much, waist cut right here, hips move outward that far, and he kicks forward that much, back, upper thigh cut, single jointed knees that don't meet 90 degrees, uh, no calf, ro oh yeah, you get knee rotation right here, ankles do move down, up, uh, you get beautiful ankle pivot, and that's all the articulation. Uh, for some size comparisons, I do have the regular relaxed Mumra figure, and I reviewed that on the Patreon, so if you want to support the channels, I guess, because there's definitely one more than one channel, uh, you could check out the Patreon account and get access to exclusive reviews, like my Rust Toy Reviews video on this Mumra right here, and you can see the two of them side by side. I like this little version, or the regular relaxed version a lot as well. But um, yeah, I'm gonna totally have them displayed together. But yeah, I just wanna get the size comparison right there so you could see that. Also, I have Slythe right here. Yeah, you can see the two of them side by side right there. And this is an ultra deluxe figure over here compared to the rest of the Thundercats figures that have come out, you know what I mean? So it does cost a bit more, didn't measure it, but it stands a lot taller. You're looking at around nine inches. So very large figure. Uh, here he is next to the Bandai Lion-O, and you can see that they don't really scale well together at all. I mean, yeah, lion is way too tall compared to that Mumra. And of course, here we have the Super 7 Ultimate Lion-O second version, and those two look great side by side. I think I did an exclusive review on Patreon for that also, so yeah, promise uh, next Patreon exclusive will not be a Super 7 Ultimates uh, Thundercats figure. Um, now that I've had two of them, throw something else up there. And then last but not least, here we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. There we go. And there's a Big Time Letdown Spider-Man next to Mumra. So, very large figure. I like it a lot, man. <laughs> you're gonna buy, if you're buying Super 7 figures, go into it knowing that you're not gonna get the dope-ass articulation that you see on Marvel Legends, it's just not there. Um, so, you know, I kind of, I accept that, you know, this is how they make their figures. They don't want them hi highly articulated, just modestly articulated, I guess, and are uh, moderately articulated. And they still look really, really freaking cool though. I'm really happy with this. This just looks so badass to me. Very pleased with this Mumra for 60 bucks. I think it's a good deal. I think it's a solid deal. I feel like I got what I paid for. I don't feel like, oh man, they could have charged 120 bucks and gotten away with it. Not like that. I just feel like it's a solid purchase, right? Like for about 60 bucks getting this guy. I'm pleased. I really like it a lot. This is a beautiful Mumra figure. Highly recommend it. Uh, I would like to know what you think, so please let me know. I have a live show coming up this Thursday on this Rust Toy Reviews channel. So, hope you make it. And we're going to talk about all kinds of stuff, catch up with you guys. And we'll have an after party for the patrons afterwards. And I can't wait for it. It's been a minute. So, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.